Federal comment bribery trial appears to be winding down with all of the defendants finally resting their cases after more than a month of testimony. WGN's Julian Cruz has been covering this trial from the start and joins us live now from the Dirksen Federal Building. Julian? Well, Dina and Ben, two of the four co-defendants taking the stand in their own defense. Former ComEd lobbyist John Hooker enduring fierce cross-examination as federal prosecutors work to make their final case to the jury on this explosive political corruption trial. Co-defendants Michael McLean and Jay Doherty electing not to testify, but day two of testimony for 73-year-old John Hooker, questioned by McLean's attorney, Patrick Cotter, about the alleged involvement from 2011 to 2019 of then-Illinois House Speaker Michael Madigan. Mr. Hooker, did you ever think for one minute that Mike Madigan would risk his speakership and his power to get a few more people some jobs at ComEd, Cotter asked? Some summer interns, Kathy Lasky, anybody? No answers, Hooker. It's a crazy idea, isn't it, Cotter says. Yes, it's a bad idea, Hooker agrees. Michael Madigan not in attendance here. He's expected to go to trial next year. But Hooker feeling the heat today from prosecutors in cross-examination at Chicago's federal courthouse. Michael McLean came to you and said the speaker wants these people hired, asked Assistant U.S. Attorney Julia Schwartz. Yes, that's right, Hooker concedes. McLean came to ask you if there was room for Frank Olivo and another subcontractor. Isn't that right? These were referrals, Hooker counters. We could consider the referrals and decide whether or not to hire lobbyists. Defense attorneys trying to convince jurors there was no criminal conspiracy, only legitimate, constitutionally protected political lobbying, they argue. But close to 100 secret phone recordings played during this month-long trial, a significant hurdle for the defense teams, the government accusing the so-called ComEd 4 of orchestrating a scheme to funnel jobs and hundreds of thousands of dollars from ComEd to Madigan-approved consultants all allegedly in exchange for legislative support, the utility struggling to get its smart grid bill and other legislation passed. The jurors have been sent home until Monday. The lawyers will return tomorrow to work on jury instructions, and all indications are opening arguments will begin Monday morning. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thanks, Julian.